What is up folks, my name is Skunk Commentary and I've been waiting a couple days since the Blizzard announced this but they're back at it again, oh my god! Blizzard can't go a day without fucking it up. <laughs> and so, today we're gonna talk about that Overwatch is now gay. That is not okay, okay but today we're gonna talk about that Overwatch has added a pride event which, in my opinion, would have been great one or two years ago, when we actually thought that Blizzard had some decency. But let's first begin with the positive things. We're gonna see a lot more representation in Overwatch in its own Pride event, and I think that is actually good. Because there is like so many forms of media right now where people of all different genders, sexuality, and so on are not represented. And the fact that Blizzard is doing this is at least some proof that they still have some form of care. But, and there's a lot of people that this means a lot to. Now, I can't say everything as a straight man, you know, the group that we all hate. <laughs> okay, that was a joke, people, calm down. But this is, in my opinion, just good that Blizzard is finally trying to at least get on the player's good side. But I am a bit suspicious because right now Blizzard, they've been, they released this after they uh, said that they're not going to release Overwatch 2, the, the real Overwatch 2. But, like, again, let's talk about the positive things. So we also have two new LGBTQ plus characters in the game. They made Farah into a lesbian, and they made Baptiste into a bisexual. And, if I'm going to be honest, that's fine with me. It doesn't really matter what gen what identity... Uh, or sexuality and all that stuff, what the character you play as have, you're still gonna be trash at them. <laughs> that joke was so bad. But, again, it doesn't matter. I play a lot of soldiers sometimes when I'm bored and because Call of Duty is not safe to play right now. You know it is. <laughs> then I play some soldier and I have fun. And I don't care the fact that they, a couple years ago, announced that he was uh, a homosexual. But... You know, this, as, because this is a skunk commentary video, I can't be too positive, and I'm not going to sit here and praise Blizzard anymore. Because, now, let's actually talk about the truth. Um, but first, actually, let's talk about this. Uh, they've added a lot of name cards and all that for free. Wow, I didn't think Blizzard would give stuff for free. Uh, where they have said, oh, here is, so you can represent yourself. And that is good in my opinion, that is like, I'm not going to be using them because I have my Reaper, uh, what's it called, um, avatar, and I, I think that one just fits me the best, because I like it the most, that is how simple it is, and I none of the uh, name cards or anything has said something with my identity, and I don't really care about it at the end of the day. And. But however, another thing that Blizzard has done is that they are now uh, selling some decent looking shirts, um, is the friendliest way I can put it. Um, and all the money from that will go to, let's see what it's called, National Center for Transgender Equality. And I think that that is a great thing, that they're gonna be donating the money. But then I remembered, this is Activision Blizzard we're talking about. This is the game company that thinks that money is the only thing. They don't care about the players, and I can tell you for a fact, they don't care about the LGBTQ plus community. And do you really think that Bobby Kodak and company would donate money to something? Maybe five years ago, but not now, hell no. So I think that that is an entire motherfucking scam, because Blizzard, how good have they been at delivering what they promised recently? How good have they been? Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> and if I'm going to be completely honest, I would not be surprised if in a couple months it turns out that, oh, they didn't donate a single dime for the things they promised. Now, we haven't seen it yet, but if I know Blizzard correctly, they will not donate shit. They don't care about anyone. They only care about money. They're like that old Mr. Crab gif where it's like, Hello, I like money. That is Activision Blizzard. In a nutshell. 
But then, skunk commentary. Why are you so angry again about this? I'm not angry at the people in the LGBTQ plus community. Can't speak today as usual. I think that it is great that companies try and, well, bring attention to Pride Month. And again, I'm nothing against that. But what Blizzard is doing right now with Overwatch, I am 99.9% .9 sure that this is a shield. What I mean by this is a shield? Well, you remember, for about two or three weeks ago, when I made a little video about how they cancelled Overwatch 2's PvE that they had promised for, let's see how long, four motherfucking years? It's the only reason it's called Overwatch 2. Remember that? Well, I think that it's not a coincidence that one or two weeks later they released, Oh, look at us, we're inclusive! Praise us, community! I would not be surprised if this is Blizzard, try Blizzard trying to, you know, shield themselves behind that. Oh, you hate our game! You're this or that phobic! Because Blizzard, at the end of the day, they don't care about anyone except their own wallets. We all know that. You're lying to yourself if you don't think that. And why haven't wouldn't they have done this for like, uh, let's see here, um, three, four, two, whatever, years ago? Because then they didn't have something they needed to hide from. Now, did they? And the thing is, I'm glad that they're bringing more uh, um, inclusivity to watch. After all, Overwatch was based on inclusivity, that everyone can be here no matter where you come from, who you are. But isn't it a little bit too close in time to when they cancelled the entire PvE that they had promised us? For, you, you guys remember, four motherfucking years. Isn't it a little... Uh, a little bit too much of a coincidence, dare I say? And I know a lot of people think that uh, this is great and all that. And it is great that they've added inclusivity. But still, Blizzard, we don't care. Most of us don't care about the identity or whatever of the, our characters. For all I know, Bastion could be... No, Winston could be a... Could have and could be more. I can't speak today. Winston could be a transphobe for all I know, and I wouldn't care because I would still suck at playing him. <laughs> that is the thing. Most players in Overwatch don't care about the identity of the characters. They play the characters because listen to this. Listen to this. They think the characters are fun to play. And why else wouldn't they drop like a ton of free content right now, if not to make us at least get our minds off that they cancelled the thing they'd promised. And now they're hiding behind the LGBTQ community as a motherfucking shield. I personally think that this is really scummy by Blizzard, because isn't it a little too good of a timing? Because, again, now, if you say anything bad about that they cancel it, you're gonna be a homophobe or whatever. And I think that Blizzard, they know what they're doing. And, again, the cold hard truth, they don't care about any of their players. They don't care about your identity. They don't care about any of it. All they care about is how to get the most amount of money out of your wallet to then pay off all the fucking fee or no uh, all the fucking lawsuits because i think you all have you all forgotten about when they got into a sexual harassment lawsuit that that even ended one of your co-workers lives i am not gonna support this company with a single dime i bought overwatch one overwatch one was a great game and when Overwatch 1 was released, Blizzard was still a company that actually cared about the players having at least a little bit of fun. But right now, do you think Blizzard cares about that? No, do you? No, they don't. Blizzard is the most 
greedy motherfucking company out there. And again, I will get, most likely get some form of hatred because I'm saying the truth. That Blizzard, they don't care about you. They don't care about your identity. All they care about is your little, the little thing in your pocket. Known as a wallet. And if someone really thinks that Blizzard is in here like, Oh, all for the community, all for us, uh, all for the people in the LGBTQ community. Blizzard don't think that. They don't care about you. That is what I've been saying this entire time. Blizzard never cares about the players. That is why they gave Overwatch a battle pass. That is why they still have battle passes. The worst fucking system out there. Oh, skunk, now you're back at hating battle passes. Yes, I might be. But the thing is, Overwatch right now, they need to stop just trying to, well, hide the evidence. Because, well, I don't think there it, no, it was a coincidence that also, the first thing they released about Lifeweaver was his sexuality. And why do you think they did that? Do you think it was for A, to make the community and all that m more diverse or do you think it was because at the same time a lot of people quit blizzard and it was most likely because of a new sexual harassment lawsuit or something along those lines what do you think look i've been playing overwatch for too long to <laughs> not see what blizzard is doing right now they want you to open up their little your little wallet and pay for the next battle pass or, in this case, these shirts, which you can just go on to the Blizzard's website and see that it is a low effort shirt with, Jesus Christ, with Overwatch in a couple of different colors. That is all this. Blizzard never cared. Blizzard never gave a crap about someone's identity or whatever. All Blizzard cares about is money. And I hate to be the one to bring it to hell, but Blizzard right now, they need to... Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. They need to just move on and get some good games out. Because the thing about Overwatch 2 PV was that they had a, the best chance in the world to make a wonderful game for everyone. And they could have included a lot more diversity in it. They could have, you know, this month said that, oh, we will see a new mission in the PV where we meet, uh, let's say, um, Farah's girlfriend or whatever and release it to us in that way. And I just have to bring this up too. Overwatch has been on YouTube most specifically. They've been sitting and like, oh, look at us. We're trying to be inclusive. Here's the new thing. <laughs> Look at this, we're so, we're so good. I'm just gonna have to find Overwatch YouTube here. But the comments on, oh my God. The comments on, <laughs> the comments on these posts is, they're laughable. Like here, Overwatch um, wrote 18 hours ago. All pride name cards are also available to download for personal use. Love heart and then the link to download or watch. And <laughs> the comments. I love the part where Hamsterball said <laughs> and proceeded to blow up the PvE project. Or do you guys remember when I said freeze, don't move? And proceeded to freeze one of Overwatch devs <laughs> working on the PvE. Or Loved it when Lucy said, let's drop the beat and drop development of, of the PvE. <laughs> or, who could forget Doomfist's iconic line, humanity evolves through conflict, right for rocket punching all the computers with the PvE data Adam and Blizzard HQ. I just find that so hilarious because nobody, absolutely nobody in the Overwatch community gives a crap about that they cancel uh, th that they are celebrating pride which again I think it's a good thing that we celebrate pride I think it's a great thing that we do it because it needs to be celebrated but then 
we shouldn't use it as an excuse for shitty behavior, like Overwatch is trying to do. Overwatch right now, they're trying to just hide that they cancelled what they had promised. And they're trying to use the LGBTQ community as a shield. And I can't imagine how it feels as a member of the LGBTQ community to have your community used as a shield for bad behavior. Like for example, I also saw that Dead by Daylight is now having a Pride Month thing going on. I haven't researched it too much, I just saw it on my Instagram timeline because I followed Dead by Daylight. I think it's a great game. But the thing is, Dead by Daylight and Behavior Interactive, I think the company is called. <laughs> I haven't been playing BBD too much recently, but anyway, they are an inclusive company that wants everyone to have fun in their game and they are trying to be a great dev studio for a great community that is going to be inclusive. And in DVD, I main David because I think he's a fun character to play as. Also, his surname has, is the same surname of my favorite author. But when they announced that his character is a homosexual, I think it was, I haven't checked it in a bit, but still. I did not care. Why? Because, well, Behavior is a good company that doesn't use this to just get more money out of its players. Also, David is a free character, so don't see how they would make money of that. But then you might now be sitting and saying, but scan comment, there is really a big deal that Blizzard is adding this. Well, it is because they are using it once again as a shield. So... I think I'll actually wrap up this video here um, because yeah I've been recording for like 18 minutes now, almost and I think that I've discussed everything that needs to be discussed. What are your opinions on this? Let me know in the comments down below and uh, yeah I will not have Overwatch gameplay until uh, they release the PvE. Just saying Blizzard if you want me to market your little game maybe release the PvE. I'll continue to play Blood Hunt and have it as the gameplay until I'm the last Blood Hunt player standing. That is how <laughs> that is how I'll do it. And until next time, guys. My name is Scan Commentary. Not using the LGBTQ plus community as a shield like Blizzard is doing. And signing out. Take care, folks, and happy Pride.